Welcome to Brooklyn Park for a Northwest Suburban Conference West Division Boys Hockey. Tonight, a matchup between Armstrong Cooper and the conference leading Totino Grace Eagles. Hi, I'm Jay Wilcox along with Dan Ficken. And boy, what a turnaround for Totino Grace, Dan. Fifth place in the league last year. Tonight, first place, 7 0 in conference play coming in. Won five of the last six games. They're rated number seven right now in class single A. Having a really wonderful season. Putting a puck in the net this year. They couldn't, they were having a trouble putting the puck in the net last year. 18 power play goals. Their specialty teams are really clicking both ways. They're having a heck of a season. One year of experience putting it together, and all of a sudden it's clicking this year. Armstrong Cooper, a little bit of an up and down season, but they kind of got a key win the other night over Osseo, the game we saw at New Hope Arena, and still time to kind of push their way toward the top. They had a pretty good first game with this team, although they lost it to Tino Grace. I don't think that they're uh, looking at this one, though, as one that they can't get and, and kind of throw the conference race into a little bit of a, a topsy-turvy thing. Oh, no, they put 30 shots on goal last time around. Uh, they, it was a really close game. It was 4-2. It was actually 3-2. to two. It was an open net goal. Uh, their special teams are playing very well. The problem is five on five. They just are having trouble getting the puck in the net. And actually, the difference in the game last time was they gave up a shorthanded goal. Well, if they shut that down and they can get a five on five goal or two, they could turn this around. Now, they've got to have this game. They can climb in the standings to get into third or second place if they keep this rolling after the game against Osseo. So it's an important game for them. So Tino Grace right now, tonight going to be shorthanded on the defensive side of things. We're going to have to see how that will shake out. Three of their regulars are out. They've had to do some shifting uh, and moving guys back and, and moving some guys into the lineup. And, boy, it's hard to have enough depth to overcome something like that. I know that's something that they're, uh, you know, a little concerned about tonight. Well, they've had some nice even play with three of their lines. So they're going to bring a forward back, Ben Palmer, to play. Now, he played defense about half the year last year, so that's a good thing because it's tough to bring them forward and come back and play defense. So that should even them up. They'll shorten up their defense, so they're going to get a little ragged as far as legs in the third period. We'll see how that works. But if they can solidify that, they're going to be fine, okay? Now, Armstrong, oh, you know that's happening? You push hard. You get that puck deep in the Totino Gray zone, and you pound on them and see if you can create some opportunities. Here we go, five on five, pounding on their D, help stop them from getting it out of the defensive zone and get some bucks on net. Let's talk about key players to look at tonight and uh, starting with the visitors, Armstrong Cooper. Jonah Jangle had a nice game the other night. We saw him get a couple of goals, but he's also just had a very nice career for their program. Oh, he really has. The nice thing I like, he's a big boy, but he can skate. He's got a good shot. What I like, well, he's a two-way player. He plays well in the defensive zone. He plays well in the offensive zone. You know, he's got 23 points total. He's got four power play goals. This guy shows up to play, and he can put the puck in the net. He's very aggressive. He's very strong on the puck, and he throws it around a little bit. So we'll get, we'll see him a lot, and we'll see his name a lot tonight. And for Grace, Dan touched on it a little bit. Ben Palmer is their leading scorer as a wing this year. But tonight, going to be shifted into a different role. And again, it's not something he's completely unfamiliar with. But how he is able to handle it and also work with a young partner coming up from JV is going to be a pretty big key. Yeah, you know, and, and his tendency will want to be, well, I got the puck. Uh, I want to go with it. He's got a partner he's got to be careful of. So I would imagine he'll sit back a little bit, try and control it. He's got good puck control. He can skate. But I would imagine he will rely to feed the puck up to his forwards and let them play. But get his opportunities from the blue line back there in the attack zone. Feed them, get some good shots off. Take care of the puck. That's what he's going to do. Take care of the puck. Make sure his partner doesn't get stuck and see what he can do from there. All right, Armstrong Cooper looking to pull off a win on the road here and uh, work their way up in the conference. Satino Grace trying to take a big step towards securing the West Division title. It's the Wings and the Eagles. The puck drop in a moment here from Brooklyn Park on CCX.
Olivia, did you put a new dent in that? This one? No. Were you texting and driving again? Yes. Hi, Leah. Hi, Dad. Sorry about your bumper. <laughs> <laughs> And welcome back here to Brooklyn Park Arena along with Dan Fick and I'm Jay Wilcox, Armstrong Cooper on the road for this one. It's the home rank now of Tatino Grace who we've talked about uh, through the years. There's a look at the co-head coaches, Adam Sherrod on the left for Totino Grace and Tim Parkos. They both were in the program last year but uh, taking over as head coach this year for the first time. Got a chance to visit with Adam at practice uh, last week and uh, more so with Tim tonight. So they're excited about what their team's done. They said, you know, it's not been any magic bullet, probably more so than anything. It's just that they've got more experience. Last yeah. year they were mostly new to the varsity and uh, it can, you know, that can be tough. Yeah, they, they had a lot of kids and they had only really, you know, one kid that had really any experience and that wasn't a whole lot. And yeah, so it was a, a real learning curve for them. And they're, they're coming in this year, they had a lot of one-goal games that they lost, which, you know, made a little bit depressing situation this year. They picked it up a little bit, so. Saw so there Danny Charleston, the now seventh-year head coach of this Armstrong Cooper program. Got, got us some encouragement last Saturday night with a nice win over Osseo and uh, hoping to build here. Now they're on the road here to play the conference leaders right now and uh, they need this win right now. Owen Reeve again starting in that tonight for AC. He got his first shutout against Osseo the other night. Pass intercepted here and now Bjorn Jensen looking to bank it ahead here for the wings but that rush up ice quickly interrupted here by the Eagles and nearly an early chance for them but a nice body check thrown there as Caleb Meehan was looking to release it. Now the Eagles go back to the point, a high rising shot, and Reeve got a piece of that with the blocker. So the faceoff will stay in the offensive zone. The Eagles, as we said, have had to shuffle lines a little bit as Palmer moving off uh, their first line to play D tonight. Caleb Meehan moving up to take his spot on that line. So Jack Bonfi will face it off here. Again, Armstrong Cooper's Jack Campion. The Eagles right away showing aggressiveness, really getting inside the attack zone right away and uh, putting some pressure on uh, the wings here right away. This time, AC able to get the puck out nicely and a long one put on net and a stop and a couple stops actually there by John Howe, who has played all of the games so far for Totino Grace. And they're, they're excited with what his uh, capabilities are. He certainly had a good start. You see both of them. Reeve kind of taking over of late here for the Wings and Howe has been the guy all season long and boy uh, sparkling numbers for him. <laughs> 932 save percentage. That shot deflected doesn't quite make it to the net. Yeah he's put up some big numbers for him. They came in kind of a little bit of an unknown but uh, Boy, the kids have really gotten comfortable with him, and it's really good to have a goaltender you know you can trust. Even if you make a mistake, you know he's got your back and lets you play a little bit more loose, which has allowed them to really get, get on the attack and be able to put some pucks in the net. Eagles able to keep it in at the line as it's sent down deep there by Palmer. Puck intercepted, and it comes out of the zone, then batted around there and controlled again by Ben Palmer in front of the Totino Grace bench. The wings were finishing a change here and the puck squirts free at center. And thrown back in off the glove there of Mike Burns, the defenseman for Armstrong Cooper. Burns cutting away from the four checker, got Ooh, the nice. pass away just as he took the hit there. And now the wings into the offensive zone. Little spinorama and back to the point there and that shot off a shin pad. Opportunity on that there, pad saved by Howe, and then bank back out to center. Jack Steinke picking it up here for AC. Pass hits a couple of bodies on the way up ice. And now brought in an opportunity, but the pass hops over Jangula stick. Back out to the point, and that one knocked aside by Howe. Wings throwing pucks at the net here from every angle on this shift. 
Well, we're glad to see that, Jim. They've had real trouble really go scoring five on five. And the only way we're going to cure that is by shooting and putting pucks on net and just shooting. They gave passed up an opportunity for a good shot, and now they're coming back to it, and I think that's a really good idea. Poked ahead there by Grace's Gavin Jepson, and then he headed off on a change to the wings quickly trying Ooh. to counter, and then a little poke check here. Look out, coming back is Kyle Heffron. His shot sailing up high. Eagles coaches talked about their team speed being pretty good this year. Here's a pass out front. Whoa, and off a defenseman skate and nearly caused trouble for Reeve there. Now thrown back in deep here. Jensen back to pick it up. Heffron pursuing him, and you don't want Heffron on your tail. That is a big man up front. List him at 6'6 six, six and 215. Well, looking at both rosters here, Jay, that was one thing I noticed too. These, both these teams have a number of six footers on them. These are about as two of the biggest teams I've seen on the ice all year. They're watching the high school hockey teams. So after an icy call, we'll bring it back into the Armstrong Cooper zone. No score in the game here. We've played about three and a half minutes of hockey so far. Adam Johnson will face it off here against Matt Campion of Armstrong Cooper. Thrown to the corner here by the Eagles. Luke Delzer had a big game against AC the first time around. Number 12. Here's a blast. That one deflects wide. Reeve lost sight of it as it sailed off the end boards. Picked up by Evan Axel, and they get the breakout going up the right side and then into the middle to Spencer Volkert. But turned away and sent right back into the wing zone. Joe Campion ringing it around, and that Ooh. one is going to get past everyone and be another icing call against the wings. So we will head back into the Armstrong Cooper zone. A little too much oomph by Campion there as he shot and dropped, expecting a wing to be on that board, but he'd gone off for a change, causing an icing here now. Last Saturday, as we watched the wings, it took them a while to really start controlling the faceoffs. Osseo felt the first period or two were really good on it. The wings finally took control in the last period, but. Uh, and they, they're not going to be able to afford that against the, the Eagles here. They're going to have to take charge of this faceoff script if they want to get control of this game. Turnover here and a big save by Reeve as he stops the big guy, Heffron. And Heffron gets the puck back now for Totino Grace. And they dump it down low off of Caleb Meehan. He fights through a check. Back to the point and a Ooh. tip out front. Wow, that one really changed direction. Reeve. Didn't have much uh, time to react, but it never made it all the way to him. Good positioning by him to make a good save there. That was a great deflection. Wings trying to get it set up, but it's quickly picked away, and then a rink-wide pass. Here's Heffron. Now uh, had it hop over his stick. And now Armstrong Cooper trying to get it out, but that one's off a of skate as they're forced back again. Out and then back in. Picked up by Jack Campion. Quickly going side to side with it and then it's off a stick and intercepted by the Eagles. Carried forward here by Nick Stika. Down to the corner it goes and Darby Jones first there for Totino Grace. Jack Gray picking it up, putting it oh. out front. And an opportunity in tight there for Stephen Hand. Or check that, uh, Gavin Jepson. And now a long shot from the point and Reeve making a stop as we get a look as uh, Titino Grace getting some opportunities here in this first period. Really good opportunities too, just relentless support out for each other too. When one forward loses it, another one's picking it up to support him. They're in a good opportunity there and there. And a nice, Reeve is just really positioning himself good too. He's able to recover after the first whiff shot and he's able to come into the good. He's playing well for them tonight. They're going to need him to really step up to the plate tonight. Boy, Gavin Jepson had an opportunity, but it was just kind of handcuffed him onto the pass. was just a little bit Ooh. off and onto the heel of the stick. Pushed over now to Drew Eide. And now Jangular sending it ahead. Here's Jensen, the smooth skating defenseman, but they are offside. And the Eagles didn't like it. Jensen, that was a pretty late shot attempt there. And there's Robin Palmer, you know, forward turn D, all of a sudden taking the defensive at it and saying, don't shoot him. I go after the whistle goes, thank you very much. And you know, to be honest, I, it's good that the Eagle did step up, but I would have liked to see the official also say something to him there. That was clearly after the whistle. Not probably quite enough to draw a penalty, but uh, something that you don't want to see happen because that's when things start 
you know, turning south as far as uh, getting a little overboard with physical play. That's going to be a hand pass. Yep. He might have. Sometimes they'll just do it very subtly and just tell the player, yeah. you know, enough of that now. Yep. Yeah, I like that one pass that, the, that Grace Eagles had coming into the zone where they threw it into an empty space and one of the Eagles just flew right to it. Well, that team has a good concept of their own speed where they're willing to throw it into an open space with a direct pass knowing that one of their players will fly to it. Oh, oh my gosh. Tear him off the end board. Everything seemed harmless, but Reeve didn't get a stick on it. It came right out front. Now Jangler leading the rush the other way for the wings and he fires just high then a big rebound. As Howe was scrambling back into position. Here's a shot that gets through. A pad save there by Howe. And back come the Eagles now. On the rush is Adam Johnson. But turned over and Jensen will lead it back the other way for the wings as he shoots. Jensen we saw the other night. Certainly not afraid to jump up into the play. He's a, a mobile defenseman. The best skating defenseman it certainly appears on the wings team. Here's a shot in on Howe. Knocked over to the corner. Efron bringing it up ice. He goes down. Now he gloves it back down and keeps possession for the Eagles. Will drop pass there and never quite got it through to its intended target. Now it comes back out to center. The Eagles will throw it in and go in on the forecheck as Reeve comes out to stop it. Had a little bit of pressure coming there and he had to hurry with it. And now Heffron putting it right out front. Here's a chance and Reeve comes out to cut down the angle nicely and deny Bonfi's backhand try. If Reeve stays back in his net there, that one is going to be a tough one to stop. But yes. he got right out on him. Yes. Nice observation, Jay. The other point, too, is, you know, I'm surprised at the size on the ice. If they, a little more physicality. I, there should be out there more. But Reeve played a nice play there. But I'm really surprised they're not getting after each other physically as they should be, especially on the blue lines. There's a little more free space going on. They're letting them skate through. I'm surprised they're not really getting after each other, throwing some body checks around. Efron putting it out front, but it was intercepted there by you know, Weiss, John, and now leading the rush is Joe Campion. Oh, oh. Over to the left side. Oh. Howe has to come up with a stop there as the Wings had one of their better rushes up ice. Now Efron. In alone with it for the Eagles, trying to drag it around the D. Puts one on that. He'll at least get an offensive zone draw here. As covered up by Reeve as he closed the uh, short side there. The Eagles were getting ready to make a line change anyway, and that's why Heffern was all alone. So, you know, obviously you'd like to score a goal there, but second best thing, get an offensive zone face off. Well, if anybody I want in on alone, anyway down there is Heffern. He's the second leading scorer in the team. You know, he's got 27 points, and he's also got five power play goals for the Eagles. Off the rebound, just out of the reach of Jack Ray with a little bit of an open net to look at, but he couldn't quite get to it in time. Push back into the Armstrong Cooper zone there where Jack Steinke goes back to play it. Pass onto the tape there of Ben Anderson, but lost. And then a check at center ice. They free it up, and Burns pushes it back into the Totino Gray zone, and it pops up into the Eagles bench, it looks like here. 8.27 to go in period number one. No score on the board. A little probably more quality of chances for Gray so far. They've had a little bit the better of the play, I'd say. Well, one of the things, too, they, you know, their speed shows up a little bit, too. A little more, more quickness, and there's a couple opportunities in the new zone there for the wings to come up and you know, take a body out and turn the play around and, and turn it around. I would expect the coach staff's going to talk to them about that a little bit. They're going to need to start taking the body on Grace and slow them down a little bit. Angular firing, and Howe has to fight that one off. Ooh, and then a little bit of a cross check into the back there. I think the Eagles are probably fortunate not to get a penalty. Trying to bank it out, but kept in and knocked that back to the corner. Angela hustling in after it. Now he's able to dig it out of there and back to the point it comes. That shot never made it through traffic and then picked up by Sam Thielen for Grace. Thielen leading the rush up the left side. He'll slam on the brakes here and they try to get it set up in the offensive zone but turn it over. And now a chance back the other way for Armstrong Cooper. 
return pass was fanned on. And now Thielen getting to it here for the Eagles, but can't get it up the wall and out. Wings able to free that puck up back to the point, and that shot wide of the mark. Jensen keeping it in. He throws it back down toward the corner. And Jensen again gains control here, banking it ahead. It just hopped away from Matt Campion. Picked up here, and the try by Jensen was denied. Eagles will dump it on in and head off on a change as Reeve comes out. He'll leave the puck there for Joe Campion. And dump back in. Reeve stopping it here. Four check pressure put on there out front though by Meehan. And tried to go to the point with it, but uh, Stika was not in the spot they were expecting. And they'll have to regroup and bring it back in here. Golden carries it. Golden oh. trying to turn the corner, and he was tripped. We're going to have a penalty yeah. call coming yep. up against Armstrong Cooper. Joe Campion, I believe, will be sent off for this trip as Golden was looking to turn the corner. Nice hesitation move by Golden here. Look at that. Hesitate, and then he goes and catches the D right off guard, and he reaches with that stick and gets it caught up in there. Just a nice move. Oh, I like that. Took Campion right off his skates, just flat-footed. So this is this is a bad, bad moment for Armstrong Cooper because this Patino Grace power play is running at 33%. A good power play runs at 25%. These guys are unbelievable on this power play. 18 power play goals this year. Cross oh. pass. Oh, and oh, nearly a goal. Reeve denying Delzer. Now another shot, and that one trickles just wide. Picked up here by Johnson. Now Johnson controlling it again here for Grace as he wheels his way around the slot, throwing it out front, and now a follow-up try is blocked. Throw it back to Delzer. And another block out front as Ide making a nice block. Ide, one of your leading scorers out there, getting a duck done on the uh, penalty kill. And then Jensen throws it deep into the gray zone. So a couple near misses early on this wow. power play for Totino. Quick, accurate movement right off the bat. Kind of slithered out. But boy, that was a great move to start out with. Their coaches were telling us, too, that we, we aren't going with anything super structured. It's, it's just getting guys in position, yep. kind of giving them parameters, and then letting them work the puck around and practice and he said they they talk to each other well and, and they move the puck well and boy I can see uh, why they've scored so many power play goals based on the early seconds of that power play. Yeah they're just moving the puck finding the open one and getting the open shot and boy they found the back door there real quick didn't they Jay. And it was just about a six inches off of being the, the perfect angle to shoot that puck in mm -hmm. and I think that helped Reeve to just barely get back and uh, able to cut it off with a good save. You know, and as much as I touted their power play, I seem to remember the last time we saw Armstrong Cooper, they scored two shorthanded goals, so they're dangerous too. Half a minute to go on the power play here for the Eagles. We are still scoreless in this game. A couple of near misses for Grace right away on this power play. And nice job by the Wings to be able to get it on out. Evan Axel was being bothered there, but he got enough on it and put it in a good enough spot. To get it down the rink, Howe stopped it there. So only 17 to go on the power play now for the Eagles. So the guy you want to be careful of if you're the Cooper, Armstrong Cooper Wings is 23, Kyle Efron. He's got five power play goals for the Eagles. Now he's the big guy. Know where he is on this power play. Oh, I like this play. Nice. That was a smart move. Jensen, they won the faceoff cleanly back to him, and he just skated back in the oh. other direction, then banked it down to pretty much eat up the rest of that yeah. time. That, that's a veteran, confident defenseman right there. Yes. That was a nice, nice play. Heffron zigzagging at the blue line there, and they're offside because of it. And Jensen just stood up, too, and just went right at Heffron at the blue line, made him hesitate, and he caused that offside. Now the power play's over. They're back to five on five. Couple really nice plays by Jensen. There. Wow, very impressive.
Draw outside the wings blue line here and the Eagles wind up with it. Carried in by Thielen. Thielen able to get it to the corner here as Armstrong Cooper you can see they're they're being aggressive going to the puck here. They're not mm -hmm. sitting back. And they ice the puck right here. When, when uh, you know when Tatino Grace is getting it wide or into the corners they're not just kind of conceding that and, and laying back. They're going after him. You got nothing to lose. You know, you got to move up the standings here. So right now, just go for broke. Do everything you can. But, you know, we've watched them over. The, they're still an aggressive team. I think Coach Charleston coaches them that way. Off the draw, it comes to Delzer. Now Johnson. Delzer gains control. Nice pass back to the point. And that one did not make it through as it was blocked on the attempt by Golden. And Eagles had it back briefly there, but chopped away from Thielen. And now carried ahead by Weiss John, but they were offside, so. Just a half step. You just kind of get the feeling now since that penalty kill got over that, that Armstrong Cooper's kind of getting a little momentum here. They're battling hard. They're starting to win their one-on-one -on -one battles. Tina Grace is not moving with the flow that they had earlier in this period. Eagles gain control off the draw, and then Flip to the wings blue line as a glove pops way up in the air. And this one was offside, it looks like. Stika wondering uh, how the glove came off so easily there as it went floating through the air. Eagles gain the puck back here. Stika with it. Throwing it ahead, but that one knocked down, and again, and looks like this one must have been offside as well. We've had quite a few of those as they're you know, taking turns turning the puck over right near the blue line at times. It makes it a little bit hard to you know, come into the zone with any momentum. Yeah. You're just not sure if your guy really has the puck or not. The wings will play this way all night. They're, they're okay playing this way. I'm not sure that the, the Eagles want to play this way. They want to have free flowing and speed. And we're going to have a penalty call coming up here, a hold. I wasn't sure if that's what the whistle had sounded for, but indeed it is. Did the puck drop in the bench, or did somebody from the bench do the hold? No, I guess not. Yeah, it was on uh, Jack Gray, it looks like, for Tatino Grace. Well, Armstrong Cooper is going to get their opportunity, and yep. No, oh, it's all grabbed the stick. stick. Yeah. yeah. Looked like it was a pretty good check to him off the puck, but, you know, speaking of power plays, Armstrong Cooper's been running at 26%. That's a, that's a good power play. Puck pops loose here. Now oh. a chance up front. Oh, and the stick lifted just at the last moment. Yeah, and throughout the season, their power play has really, really kept them going because their five on play has not really worked well for them. Their power play has really done well and kept them in games and won a few games for them. So tonight would probably be no exception. They need to get this rolling. I had lost it and it's cleared down the rink now. Jensen. Coming up with it for Armstrong Cooper. First pass was denied, but now they get it in Anderson. Oh, and that one bouncing wildly past the net. Wings looking to strike first here as they get this power play there first of the night. Angela shooting and how to save. And pretty good lane there to see that one for how. And thought it was interesting too. The Grace coach is telling us that how. Is, is pretty vocal about how you know when when they're on the penalty kill. He said, you know, from those spots back there, I'm okay. You can let that shot go, and that was probably a pretty good example right there. As long as uh, as long as you're kind of clearing up, taking guys out for rebounds, I'll stop that first one for you. Communication is crucial to go. Let him call his shots. Back and forth they go. Here's a shot from the circle that goes just wide and then a long carom. Nice hustle to keep it in though. Now across to Jensen. Back and forth they go with it here. Trying to get to Tino Grace out of position, but so far not really happening. Back out to Jangela. His shot goes wide. 
And Jangle is their guy. He's got four power play goals this year. They want to feed him. Oh. Around the horn, but just didn't quite connect on the last pass there to Ide. Now they work from down low. Nice puck movement here, but not getting much at the net. Back out top it comes. There's a shot, but that one hits traffic. Then a turnaround trying to rebound, and how able to cover it up after the shot from Anderson. Boy, how made a nice play there, Jay. He, he didn't stay back in his net. He came right out and attacked the puck. It was coming to the Armstrong Cooper player out front there, saving under the deflection. See how close? Look at her, how he is. He's sitting outside that crease. He comes right out, stays right with the Armstrong player there. Drew Ide sitting out in front looking for the deflection. He isn't going to let it deflect. He's going to be right on top of it before Ide can really deflect it. And thrown down the rink here, and Reeve will stop it. Only about five seconds to go on the Wings power play, so it looks like the Eagles have killed it off, as did Armstrong Cooper in the previous opportunity. So penalty time is now over. Puck stopped at the blue line here, and the Wings looking to go on the attack again. We go under a minute to play in this first period, and we are still scoreless here at Brooklyn Park. Banked out ahead, and... Nice interception there by Joe Campion. And a swing and a miss on the first try to get it in. Back out it comes, and uh -oh. now uh -oh. look out. Here comes Heffron. Puts on the brakes, and then Weiss John back checking, steals that pass. And then Weiss John throwing it long ahead, and it'll be icing as it Ooh. started to roll there. Otherwise, I don't know that it would have been an ice. Not sure if you want to give up an icing here with less than 30 seconds to go here in the period, but Armstrong Cooper being very disciplined now, though really in their zone. They really, when Grace got that rush down there, they did a nice job of really covering well in their own zone. Off the faceoff, Ben Anderson gets to it and get it out, and it's hammered back in. Eagles had to touch up there. About 20 seconds to go here in the period. Ooh. Bonfi went in deep but couldn't come up with it. Here's Jangela leading the rush the other way. Now Ben Anderson. Ten seconds to go, and that one tipped. Goes wide. Eagles trying to get a rush back the other way. And they're going to run out of time here as Palmer carries it on in. And the Armstrong Cooper guy's looking at him like, you better not shoot that after uh, the whistle. <laughs> it was Palmer that was involved at the other end when they uh, they did that. So we have played 17, and it is 0-0 here. Armstrong Cooper and Tokino Grace will be back with more of our coverage of boys hockey here on CCI. They gave me Vicodin after my knee surgery. They kept prescribing it, so I kept taking it. I didn't know it would be this addictive. I didn't know how far I'd go to get more. Opioid dependence can happen after just five days. Know the truth, spread the truth. I try to keep up with what these young people is is doing and knowing. I was at work and I was I just got a text from a number that I didn't know. I sent him a text. He texts me back and say, "Who this?" <laughs> and I just thought that was the funniest thing. The next few weeks, you just made fun of me. Like would answer the door and say, "Who this?" Who this? Drop off a warm meal and get more than you expect. Volunteer at AmericaLet'sDoLunch.org. America, America, let's do lunch. lunch. What makes your community feel like home? Is it knowing what's happening in your neighborhood? Or when people know your name? Connections make us a community. For more than 30 years, Northwest Community Television has connected citizens, neighbors, even sports fans through video. You can learn about the latest news through our truly local newscast. 
We cover and air around 150 high school sporting events every year. For our cities, we air parades and city meetings that you can watch whenever you want. Then, any citizen of our cities can create and share their own original content. We'll even teach you how to use the equipment too. We have always provided you with a connected community experience. And as life gets busier than ever, we will continue to engage, inform, and inspire through CCX Media. So you can stay connected to the place you call home. Welcome back, CCX Sports presentation here of Northwest Suburban Conference West Division Boys Hockey. Armstrong Cooper nothing and Tatino Grace nothing here after one as we check out some first period highlights. Obviously no goals to show you, but uh, some chances certainly in that opening period here as Ben Anderson dropping the pass off. Wieskamp getting a good shot away, and then the rebound was a good opportunity too, but Howe was in good position for both. Eagles getting a chance down low here. It's off a of skate and then just swept away. And then a little bit of a turnover cost the wings right here and a great opportunity. And Reeve was equal to that challenge. And then the Eagles get another good opportunity here out front, but it's just off the heel of the stick of Jepson. And here was a good setup out front as well here as they drop the pass back. And then across, and that was a big save as Delzer had quite a bit of an open net to shoot for, but Reeve just got back in time. And then at the other end, uh, another late chance there too. So Wings a slight edge in shots on goal, but I think more of those were from the perimeter. The Eagles, three scoring chances to two, and each team took one penalty. We will come back with more here. The second period coming up. Tatino Grace, the conference leader. Armstrong Cooper looking to climb the ladder a little bit if they can pull off a victory here tonight at Brooklyn Park. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Hey, look. It's those guys. Get some drinks. Are you good to try? I'm fine. How many did you have? I should be fine. You should be? Go and step out of the vehicle for me. See ya, buddy. Good luck. So it turns out, buzz driving and drunk driving, they're the same thing. And it costs around $10,000. So not worth it. They'll test you. Try to break your will. But however loud the loudness gets, however many cheese puffs may fly, you're the driver, the one in control. Stand firm. Just wait. And move only when you hear the click that says they're buckled in for the drive. Never give up till they buckle up. There was an old woman who lived in a shoe. She had so many children, she didn't know what to do. She gave them some broth without any bread and kissed them all soundly Lights out. Good night. and put them to bed. Hunger is a story we can end. End it at feedingamerica.org. Features of this rink, the uh, disco ball still up uh, at center ice here. Armstrong Cooper, nothing, and Totrino Grace, nothing here as we get set for our second period of action here on CCX Sports. And uh, Totino Grace uh, getting some notice. They are back into the rankings in Class A as they have, uh, you know, for a long time they were kind of a, a regular, you know, visitor to the top ten and and you know potential state tournament team uh, not been quite as much these last few years but now in the in the rankings at number seven hermantown 
leading the way. And they've already played, you know, a couple of these top teams, and they played a couple top class double-A teams already, too. So yep. they've got four losses, but I think th at least three of the four are to ranked teams. And we said they've got Matamida in their section, and they got Matamida on the schedule next week. Yep. And yep. you see the Zephyrs are at number three in Class A. So uh, kind of exciting times for, for Grace Hockey here. Well, it's good to see him back in the fold, too. You know, you are kind of, you know, used to seeing them in the running here for, for a tournament run, and and uh, they're, they're certainly in position, too. It uh, looks like they've got the speed, they got the monster, too, and I think, I definitely think they got the goaltending to get there. And if, you know, Hawkins stays hot and, and they can make a run in there, you know, it comes on to the last three games at the end of the season there to make a run, and it'll be fun to see somebody from early to get a run at it, Jay. Why not? What the heck? And for two first-year coaches, well, that'd be kind of a dream, wouldn't it? Love to see it. And the Eagles, of course, playing in a conference that's basically all double-A schools other than them. So it has them certainly ready when they go into Class A. And, you know, there are sometimes there are people that kind of you know, hint that that's not really fair, but that's just the way it is. That's the, the, the schools around them, and that's their, who they're paired with, up with in their conference. I, to me, that, to the me that's an empty argument. Yeah. I, I never understood that when people say things like that. Because the other Class A schools can schedule who they want, too. So it's not an unfair advantage, if you ask me. Dump back into the wing zone as we're underway in period two. And here they come on the rush. Nice move by Ide, But then Palmer with a great shot block. Looks like he has played some defensemen before. Now Palmer leading the rush out of there for the Eagles. As he skates it up the left side. But then lost it. And Jensen's pass off a of skate. Palmer teeing it up. Oh, the oh. rebound laying loose. And Dells are unable to put it away at an empty net. It looks like the Eagles weren't happy with the offensive output. And somebody told Palmer, hey, you need to get activated here. So he jumped in there. And that shot just missing from Stickot. Boy, a great opportunity. I'm oh. not entirely sure how Dells are missed putting that one away. He had a tap in from about six inches but couldn't get the stick on it. Battle for it in the corner now and then Anderson wins that puck. Oh and he put it just out front looking for Weiss John but he couldn't get a stick on it. Joe Campion sending it ahead and now the Eagles trying to break it on out with Stika. Ben Anderson blocked that pass, and then it comes back to Heffron. Eagles regroup and go again here as Jack Bonfi carrying it up ice. And missed with that pass, and it'll be an icing against Grace here. Kind of a double win. We'll look at the opportunity here. Palmer gets the shot off, bounces out because he was out so deep, and oh, he had such an opportunity. He just whiffed on it. Wide open net. It looked like Reeves stick might have kind of bought. Yeah, Reeves stick though when he reached back for it, might have kind of made a little contact with Delzer's stick and and uh, interrupted that chance. I guess uh, that's the best I could see from that replay. So here's a shot that deflects just wide, traffic in front, and now it pops out of play into the wings bench. So Grace has had a couple of real near misses. One early in that power play. And then this one again. Now watch when Reeve reaches back for it with his stick. If he maybe doesn't bother the stick a little bit of uh, Delzer. Yes, he does. Yeah, good call, Jay. Good pickup. And I don't know that it was even really intentional. I think he was just swinging the stick around. And, but Delzer would love to have that one to do again. But Reeve, good fortune sometimes helps too. But he's uh, he's been solid. Both these guys have looked sharp. Yes. Yep. Rather be lucky than good sometimes. Why not? Wing swing it around and break it out nicely. And here oh. they come into the zone. Boy, all five players touch the puck there on the way out. That's a nice breakout. And then thrown to the corner. Joe Campion getting there. But back the other way comes Bonfi for the Eagles. And then he stood up on a nice check in front of the Grace bench. Wings coming back, but that one interrupted. Now it's off of Palmer, and he'll circle back to get it. Puck squirts away, and then Bonfi throwing a check into Jango. Oh. Here's a chance down low, and a sliding play by Bonfi to break that up, or that one was going to be a great chance. 
Well, it was really kind of a two on one down yep. low. Yep. They had a good setup going. And oh. that one just kind of thrown blindly up ice as they tried to hit the home run there to Nick Haugen, but does not work out. It's an icing call against the Wings. And we'll head back into the zone here with 14.08 to go here in period two. Well, I kind of like the opportunities that both teams are setting up here, Jay. They're, they're moving the puck while trying to get it up. They're just missing a little bit uh, with that last final closing play. If that starts clicking, look out. We're going to see some offensive explosion here. Wings gain control, banked ahead at center, but a nice step up there by Stika to block that one. And now coming in is Gray. Gray trying to battle through a check there. And Eagles maintain possession, but then the pass to the point was one they had to reach for. And back the other way comes Armstrong Cooper. Schreiner throwing the pass across. Luke Schroeder back there. Now it comes over to Jones for Totino Grace, Darby Jones. And it looks like they were offside there. Yeah. Hmm. I guess Jones didn't touch until he was deep in the zone there. I was surprised in a way that it didn't, at first glance from up here, it didn't really appear to be an offside. Yeah. Bar. Both teams, boy, really scrambling uh, defensively, though. They're, they're covering the backside quite well. But, boy, I'll tell you what, it's going to take one small mistake, and all of a sudden someone's going to have an odd man rush because they're they're attacking offensively. Dells are missed the net there. Palmer up with it now for Grace, but jabbed away from him. The race is on back the other direction, and Howie Moore getting there first. And now the Wings pick it up. Reese John sending it ahead. Ben Anderson. Trying to get around Palmer. Palmer chopping at him, but it comes back to Anderson. Then his pass out front is off Adam Johnson. Back to the point it comes for the wings. They tip it around the net. Tried to throw it out front. Howe knocked that aside. Ben Anderson trying to come up with it, but Palmer winds up in possession for Grace. Banking it ahead, and wings get control again and throw it back in Palmer knocks it right back out Ooh, and then I hit and that's going to be a penalty coming yep. up on Weiss John probably an interference as the puck was not really in the vicinity and it'll get it looks like either an interference or a slash this one would go in the category of not a good penalty I think here is this one very late yeah that was not a smart call. You should have just stepped aside, go into the box, and go into the bench. And tired, frustrated. This one's going to hurt. We got a good chance to see uh, what happens when Grace clicks. They almost got one, and they're going to have to. The Wings are going to have to put up another good, tough penalty kill here. There's a shot, stick save, and the puck goes at a bad angle off the boards. They couldn't get it out. Here's a shot, it kicked out of there by Reeve. Wings get to this one, and they will dump it in as Howe stops it. So Weistjohn does go for interference at 429 of the second period here. Second power play of the night for Totino Grace as Palmer leading it back up ice. So not a real good pass there. And chopped away. Palmer will start the rush again here. Trying to throw a long oh. one up the middle and it just failed to connect with Bonfi and it'll come in on that. Boy, I just, you know, Jay, it's fun sitting up here watching the move and counter move here. Armstrong Cooper gets a little aggressive, pulls that box out into the neutral zone. And Tatina Grace stretches it out and tries to get behind it real quick with a long stretch pass that almost clicks. Both teams being very aggressive. I like that. Off the draw, wings end up with it, and here they come shorthanded. Carried way in deep here by Jensen, and then he runs into the official. And we've got a penalty call Five, coming yeah. up against Grace. 
I think that was a gloved hand by one of the Grace players, not an official. But that might be a hold or a hook. Yeah, it looks like a hooking penalty being issued. Eagle player going. Really? Howie Moore right here. Let's see. Wow. Oh, boy. I, that is a phantom I, penalty, huh? Yeah, I would be a little speculative, too, if I was that young man. If that is indeed where the call came. Okay. <laughs> It's possible it happened elsewhere, so I'm not going to jump on it too much. But Adam Johnson back out to the point. Now he gets the return pass here. And down he goes. But no one going up that time, so we stay four on four. Thrown back in. How will stop this one and hang on as Parker Collins was in the vicinity. I would be willing to bet you no hand's going to go up here shortly at all for a while. Okay, so that evens it out. And Armstrong Cooper will be on power play in about 25 seconds here. Hyde winning the draw. Jangela dropping it off for the defenseman. They try to go back to him, but Delzer blocked it. Kick down low here by the wings. Anderson sending it over. And out front thrown there by Jensen, but get an opportunity out of that one. The wing's coming hard here. Now Anderson takes it away, a backhander, and Howe with a great save. Wow. Anderson just picked Palmer's pocket there. Penalty is over to the wing, so they now have a power play for about a minute. Palmer trying to get it out, but it stopped. Pass across for Ide. He'll throw it to the point. Ooh, and Howe with a nice pad save there as he kicks it to the corner. Now that pass taken away by Delzer, and here he comes shorthanded. Delzer trying to cut around the D there, maybe drop penalty, but they did not go for it. Oh, and then Delzer nearly took it back. And the wings lose it and thrown back down the rink there by Golden. 25 to go in the man advantage here for Armstrong Cooper. Not a full length power play, but. A little more than a minute they started with. Haven't uh, they had one decent chance, but now Anderson has it scored away from him. A little foot pass back over to Jack Campion. Looking down low there, trying to go to Ide, but well read and chopped out by Stika. Now Jangela back to play it. Penalty time is over. We're back to five aside. Jangela carries it in. Now he'll shoot and howl with the stop as Jensen was out front there for the wings. So we will get a face off in the Totino Gray zone here. Still scoreless game, 9.16 to play here in the second period. And back-to-back and -back penalties uh, adding to the drama a little bit here. You see Jangela looking around and then he just turns and lets it rip. And that's why I let it rip. Look who's in front there. I think that's Jensen that was in yeah. front. Wings win the draw again, and then a shot into the glove of Howe as they got a decent opportunity off the faceoff there, and Sam Schreiner putting the shot on net. Well, this this has just been a real grinder of the game, especially in this period, Jay. There's been real, real flow here. It's just been, you know, one set piece after another, one turnover, another, and a, and a shot, and a, and a stoppage of play. Armstrong Cooper seems to have a little extra jump on their skates yeah. right now, though. They're getting to the puck there. Four checks working. They've got Grace back on their heels just a little bit here. Well, this this is the kind of game they want to play. They don't want to play a big flowing game with Grace. Grace is too fast for them on that. They don't want to play that kind of game. Battle for it in the corner, and we're going to have a penalty, I believe, coming up here against the Eagles as a trip will be called. Schreiner deposited on the ice, and it looks as though it will be on Luke Schroeder. It was seemed like kind of a late call because this happened right below oh, where our broadcast and I thought it was definitely a trip when it, it didn't seem like it almost seemed like the officials kind of looked around at each other. Did you you know did you have that? Did you have that? And then the arm went out. 
But it certainly appeared to be the right call when you look at that replay. Well, after that last call, I think they really want to make sure now. It's okay. We could be speculating about some calls. It's all right. So the Wings with an opportunity here trying to get on the board. They get things set up, trying to get some traffic in front. Now to Ide in the circle. Ide puts it up front. And how with a stop on Anderson as he was being checked. Didn't get a lot on the shot. Back around. Ide whipping it across. And that shot blocked twice, actually, on the way in. And then Palmer jabbing it loose and getting it out. So the Eagles not really phased by that quick puck movement. They stayed in good position. Well, they've had a fantastic penalty kill, too. They're over 80% kill, which is good numbers. Angela coming up with it here for Armstrong Cooper. Back out to the point. And then Jonah gets the return pass. Walking in. Oh, looking back door. And has deflected high and over the net as Jack Campion was there. Palmer trying to get it out, but there are too many bodies in the way, and they pick it off. Centering pass here. Oh. And that one jabbed wide by Anderson. Picked up by Ide. Now Jangla way down deep in the circle. He'll back it off. Gives it over to Jensen. His shot got through. How the save, it came loose, but the whistle has sounded. Good power play. They're really working it hard. And I really like the fact that they got somebody in front of that net and just agitating. Nice puck movement. Using their heads, they got their eyes up front. Seeing what they're doing. Two people in front. Well, that's one where, you know, you if you're AC, you're probably seeing a little bit of a quick whistle, but it was clearly oh, blown, you know, obviously absolutely. way before the puck came out. No problem. Yeah. Off the draw, wings wind up with it here. And that pass went between a couple players in the long reach of Kyle Heffron. Able to drive it on out here. 20 seconds to go on the man advantage. Wings have really moved the puck slickly and got a couple chances, but not able to put anything by Howe, so we stay at 0-0. Bonfi gets to it and is able to ring it around and out, and that's going to eat up the remaining time here. Joe Campion back to get it with Heffron coming in on him. And they nearly forced a turnover as the penalty time now over for Schroeder. Nice step up there at the blue line by Stika. And going to be an icing call here against Grace. And we'll come back into the Eagles end of the rink here. Good hockey game here tonight. No scores on the board, but certainly had some chances. And it's been pretty back and forth between the two. Each team kind of seemingly having control for a little while. Right now, and momentum is definitely on the wing side. They've got control of the puck, and uh, they've got Grace on their heels right now. And uh, it's just that they're winning the one-on-one -on -one battles. They got a little more jump. They're just not letting Grace have, you know, some free-rolling play like they like to play. They've got to really fight for every inch of ice, and they're not used to playing like that. Sent ahead, Delzer chasing after it. Delzer spins away from a check, putting it out front here, but that one knocked down. They put it back to Delzer, and then a quick opportunity in close by Thielen. But Reeve was ready. That was a chance generated in an instant there by Grace. Now puck flipped into the corner as the wing is looking to go for check. Stika did a nice job getting to it, though. Oh, a nice job to knock it away from Delzer. It kind of looked like the Eagles had some momentum coming back up ice there on the breakout. And a takeaway here. A wrister goes up high and over the top of the net, though, from Carter Lucas. Now a centering pass. That one off of Palmer's skate. Bank, but not out. Again, the Wings' forecheck has been solid here in the second period. And now they gain control. I putting it down oh. low, but heck, that Dimmich didn't get much of it. Dimmich winds up with it again. Floating it out front, but a nice stick there by Stick out to grab it. He'll come up the left side here for the Eagles. Plays it in deep and goes after it himself, and now the Wings, though, come up with it. They rush it right up the middle, and that shot attempt is blocked by Bonfi. 
Trying to throw it out front. Bonfi able to knock that down. Then they turn it over, though. Oh, it's a 2 on 0 in low. And that one will trickle just wide. Boy, we've had some really near misses. Probably a couple more for Totino, but that one could have been a goal pretty easily for the Wings right there. Well, I'll tell you what. This is where Howe pays dividends for you. You know, he, we saw his numbers walking in this game, and he's really showing his numbers right now. He is doing a fantastic job of keeping that puck out of the net. Uh, he's had may wor way more work this period than he did in the first period, Jay, and he's doing a heck of a job right now. Off the draw, the Wings win the faceoff, but it's knocked down in front. Monty couldn't get it out, though. Wings again able to keep it in. Here's a shot attempt, but that one is blocked. Eagles, although they've been caught flat-footed a few times, have been pretty good with their stick. Now trying to bank it in off the netminder there was Ben Anderson. Anderson gets control again. Wing cycling in the offensive zone. This one deflects to the corner. And now a oh, oh, long oh, pass oh, ahead oh. to Heffron here, but his shot is blocked. And that pass knocked down at center. Bonfi winds up with it here for Grace. Sidesteps a couple and throws it in on net. It's off the tip of the glove there of Reeve. Eagles needed a change and they get it. Now this one thrown in as the wings will get to it first. Banging it all the way around again. Back out to the point. But another oh. shot block by the Eagles. Darby Jones this time. Wings looking to regroup and go at it again. Anderson sends a bouncing puck in, and Howe will stop that one and hang on. Well, yeah, do you feel like the Wings have done anything different here in terms of forecheck in this period? Because they've certainly done a much better job of bottling Grace up. Yeah, they're supporting each other much better. The first check goes in, and it's getting back up by the second guy. And they're getting their sticks in the way of the passing lanes and just really rocking hard on it. Um, they're doing it much more effectively. But I like, there's been a change of strategy by Grace. If you can't break it, send a flyer out there. Get it there. Flying a guy out of the zone and just lofting it out to try and break the pressure. That was a nice move. That was a good coaching move. I like that a lot. They got to get their legs moving, though. They got to start moving. They're, they're kind of getting a little standing stillish. Two on one. Darby Jones on the left side and just a little too far out front, but. This might be a penalty coming up, or is it just a net off? Just a net off. Yeah. I think uh, Jepson was too far in front of him to even, you know, to, to trip him if they wanted to here. Yeah. But he just had to reach for it. Yeah, definitely no penalty there. He uh, couldn't, couldn't quite connect on that one. But as you watch that break out, you saw pucks going not to the person, to an open area and letting the Eagles skate to it. That's what they do well. And that allowed them to break out. And I, I think they're going to get their legs moving that way. And that's what they're going to have success doing. They've been standing a little too still and letting the, letting the wings dictate what kind of area they can skate in. Back into the Eagles zone again here as the wings try and go to work. But Palmer picks it up here for Totino Grace. Got it out and it came right back in offside. So we'll get a face off here. 223 to go here in this second period and still no score on the board here. Danny Charleston has to like the effort he's seen in the second period. His team is kind of seemingly taking control here in this latter part of the period, especially. He's done a good job. He's prepared them well. They're they're playing a much better game tonight than they did Saturday night, to be honest with you. I think uh, they're well prepared and they know who they're playing and they know how to play them. The wings pick it up, but a nice job to lift the stick there by Delzer, and then he got knocked down. But they cannot get it out again. Pass, try to put it out front, intercepted there by Johnson, and now Delzer hustling after it, but he's beaten to it. And pushed back into the zone, but not very deep. Palmer gets it right back out. Wings goes side to side, but then that next pass doesn't connect and intercepted. Intercepted at center, and Johnson, though, got it back. Johnson carrying it up the left side here for Grace. And then that pass picked off in turn. 
And it's blocked. Here's an opportunity for the Wings on a two-on-one. Quick shot and how able to fight it off as Parker Collins took the shot. Around it comes here. Thielen couldn't come up with it. Centering pass, and that one's off of Anderson's stick. And then a shot that goes just wide. And an interception in tight here. How the save, the rebound That's is good. in. Armstrong Cooper finally breaks the deadlock. Their hard work on the forecheck paying off, and Anderson will push it in. Ben Anderson gets the goal for Armstrong Cooper. Second line coming through here. First shot initially misses, but they beat it to it. And their turnover right here. The backhand getting on net, but then following through. Ben Anderson backhands it through for a really nice score. Good play. Nope, forehand coming through and just going to the net. And when you're not scoring goals five on five, that's what you got to do. Make sure you got more guys in front of the net than the other team and get the rebounds. And that's exactly what they did. All that hard work finally paid off. So with just over a minute to play in the second, the Wings break the deadlock. Jack Campion and Jensen will get the assist on Anderson's goal, his seventh of the year at 15.54. This long one thrown in. Reeve will glove and drop here. Mm. I think Grace is there. They've got to start getting wide, Jay, and they've got to start utilizing the ice. Don't dump it in. Stay wide. Control it and start skating and making Cooper come to them. I mean, Armstrong Cooper come to them. They're getting those passing lanes blocked off all the time, and they're just getting clogged up, and they got to spread it out so they don't get clogged up and make Armstrong Cooper skate with them. Especially when they get into the neutral zone and in the attack zone. They need to play down in the attack zone now rather than the defensive zone. Johnson and Ide will face it off. Johnson able to win it for the Eagles. Palmer whipping it around, but Delzer couldn't get there, so it's going to be icing. We'll come right back in for a face off in the Eagles zone again with 19 seconds to go. That young man's had a good period. They finally broke him for one, but I, I still think he's been the difference in this period. It could have been much worse. And the Eagles, as much trouble as they've had breaking the puck out in this period, I would say they have done a nice job of blocking shots, oh. too. They've helped him out a lot in that regard. Yep, I agree. I mean, it, the forecheck has been that dominant for, for the Wings this period. Wings had to touch up here, so the Eagles get a three out here as Stika throws it in. Directed to the corner there by Reeve. Final seconds of the period ticking down here, so we'll reach the end of two, and it is one to nothing. Armstrong Cooper will be back with more here on CCX. I'm Rudy Tempesta, I'm 92 years old. I fought in World War II. Then I came home and worked for the post office for 70 years. I've been getting Meals on Wheels and I enjoy it. The most important thing about Meals on Wheels is you meet the people, which to me is fantastic. You need people to keep your brain moving. That's what life is about. It's love and having a conversation with people. We're gonna go out there in the rain. Gonna get wet. All right, here we go. Go, bro! Oh, look at the rain! Okay, quick. Oh, yeah! Yes! So much fun! 
Good battle here tonight so far. Armstrong Cooper leading Totino Grace 1-0 as we check out some second period highlights. And it was a good period for the Wings, no question about it. They kind of put their stamp on this one a little bit in the uh, second. But here's a turnover that nearly was a goal. Watch this. Just got a little piece of Delzer's stick there. Reeve did and caused him to fan on that wide open net opportunity. And then the Eagles right here turn it over. Good save by Howe there as he was able to rob Anderson. And Delzer putting it out front. Quick one-timer there by Thielen. And another nice stop by Owen Reeve who's been sharp. And once again, the Eagles turn it over, unable to get it out. Another bad pass right there, picked off. And there's Anderson making him pay as he knocked the rebound in. They have a lot of kind of similar chances in the period. And then one finally went in with a little over a minute to go. So Anderson getting his seventh goal of the season. And that's where we stand right now. You see the shots in the second period were 17-8 wings, kind of telling the tale a little bit of how the period went. So they have a two-period total now, a lead of 29 to 18, and certainly have the better of the scoring chances in that period as well. So we'll get set for period number three. We'll see what adjustments each team has made as we battle down the stretch of this one here on CCX. dent in that this one no were you texting and driving again yes hi Leah hi dad sorry about your bumper Welcome back here to Brooklyn Park Arena as we get set for puck drop for period number three as Armstrong Cooper netting the only goal of the game with just over a minute left in period number two. So they lead it by a score of one to nothing. Heading into the third and again, uh, Titino Grace leading the conference standing. So, and in fact, you know, have gone through without a loss up until this point they're the only undefeated team obviously in champlain park behind them so uh, obviously it would would be uh, a big favorite of the other teams in the league i guess if armstrong cooper could come up with the win here tonight and right now uh, they, they have the momentum a little bit i think coming into the third well they do now let's look at those standings now armstrong cooper gets a fourth win tonight and then they go into the champlain park game now it's a whole new ball game and uh, they have a chance to move up, not only to challenge for third, but maybe when they reach Chandler Park, challenge for second here. So uh, Armstrong Cooper's coming on here now. They're playing really good. They're getting some consistent goaltending, which is the one first key they needed. They need to start scoring some goals. That's still been a tough road to hoe, but still, they're playing the top team in the conference right now. If they start scoring some goals along with that, they've got a shot to really improve themselves in the standings and help themselves, of course, in the section seating now they play in a different section than the other teams in the conference so uh, and it's a very tough section but this conference is very important to them 
This is the, this is kind of their goal, their dream goal. They want to do well in the conference. That's what they set out when they start the season. So that's why they're playing as well as they're playing now, right now. So they've, they've done a very good job so far in the first two periods. And I, I have to admit, I kind of like hearing that too. So many people, no matter the sport that we talk to, the players, it's all about the playoff. A lot of people don't care at all about conference titles anymore, and I, I feel like that's the bulk of your season. That yeah. should be, that should be something you're aiming for, you know, yeah. as well. So conference should mean something. I agree. And this one floated up and out of play. And considering that every, you know, that you, a lot of the teams go their separate ways for sections and everything anyway, you know, you could obviously getting the state tournament is the number one goal. But sure. the reality is the vast majority of teams aren't going to get there, and the vast majority of them aren't going to come close to getting there. So well, we got to have something to play for in the regular season. we got over 100 teams playing hockey in the state. Guess how many make the state tournament? 16, okay? I'm looking at the Serena. I see state conference champion banners here. I like that. Banked ahead now into the wing zone. See if the Eagles come out with some more fire. They were put back on their heels a little bit in that second period for sure. Looks like they might have Palmer playing up front here on this first shift to get a little more offense going. Jensen chased by Palmer. And now I'd pass a little behind the target. Knocked down and it'll come back. Wings have to regroup here. But nice job not panicking by Jangela there. Now they get it in the zone and a shot on how to save. The rebound trickles wide. And back out to the point and that one whistling wide. Yeah. Yeah. We watched Osio last Saturday put two forwards back on D and it really hurt him offensively, so it doesn't surprise me. Um, but they've, they've moved him back to forward here to get some offensive flow going. They need a goal. So Ben Palmer's playing center again. Puck knocked free on the way out and then hammered ahead on a nice pass it is to Heffron. But get, good job getting back to break it up by Axel. Evan Axel into the TG zone, drops it back, and it bounces high in the air off of Howe. Wings trying to pick up where they left off here and just kind of keep that puck in deep and work it around and try and get some chances generated from there. And there's Howe with a save. Rebound comes loose. Grace forced to regroup again here and a nice pass up the middle. Here they come on the rush up the left side as Thielen circling the net. He'll leave it at the point here and some space to shoot it and it goes wide. Thrown toward the net, knocked down. And it'll trickle back out beyond the line. Joe Campion leaving it there and Jack Campion will swing it around. Mark Lohr, the former Totino Grace coach here tonight, and he said that uh, uh, Campion's dad played in their program at TG, so he was made a point to come out and watch this game in particular to see his, uh, his old friend and his old uh, team going against each other. The Eagles wind up with it here after the turnover. Oh, and Reed with a dynamite save there on Meehan. There was a save of the night right there. Beautiful save. That pass hits the back of the net, but it still gets over to Schreiner. Schreiner then loses it. Eagles looking to quickly counter as he goes rink wide with it to Gray. Gray, though, tied up pretty nicely by Jack Steinke. And now the wings looking to counter as Puck gets away. They have to regroup here. Back to Steinke. And he'll swing it across. Burns. Floating one. Oh, and a chance as Howe has to make a stop. That bouncing puck was a tough one to deal with for the D there. And now back out to center as the Wings will get it again. Angela leaving it for Burns. Burns in shooting. Howe's going to love this one and hang on. 
Boy, oh boy, I'll tell you, I'm just, I'm, I'm liking this a lot. This is like a heavyweight fight. I mean, here comes the Eagles. They get a great opportunity and a great save. Good goaltending. And back come the Wings. Get a good opportunity here, a shot, then they followed up with more support there. It's just back and forth. The Wings are not going away. They're going to take the hits, and they're counterattacking again. They're not quitting. They're playing very smart right now, Jay. Icing call here against Tatino Grace as they again try to spring it forward, see if they can hit him. And that's the thing, and it, you know, some it can be frustrating if it, you know, you end up icing it like that. But it only takes it to work once, and you got this game tied up. Oh yeah. The Wings are aware of it, though. They're not. They're not buckling. But the, the Grace is fighting back. They're doing some counter strategies. They're, they're doing some smart things here to kind of bust this up. Boy. Off the draw, puck brought to the net. Never really got a shot away there. Now Jangela coming up with it here for AC. Back to Jensen. He'll slide it across. And shot attempt knocked down and actually bounces out of play here into the TG bench. So we get a faceoff coming up in the gray zone here. We've got about 12 and a half minutes, 12.36 to go here in this third period. And Armstrong Cooper leading it one zip. Now that's that's an instance that's a mistake there. Lucas has got it. If you're a D, get it deep. Don't hit the shin pads. Get it deep. Make them go 200 or 180 feet. Okay. Don't put it in the shin pads. Make sure it gets stuck in deep. And another one coming in on Howe. We'll get another draw in the gray zone here. Wings briefly uh -oh. won it, but instead the Eagles win the race to the puck and a two-on-one opportunity. Efron putting it across. Oh, and Reeve with another big stop. Delzer kind of put that one into Reeve a little more than he would have liked there, obviously, but still a good save. And you can see the Wings congratulating their young goalie. Boy, that was just a nice breakout and fly by the Eagles. You can see that speed and that reaction going, but Reeve just shuts the door. Slam, bam, thank you, ma'am. You ain't getting this puck in. Nice play. Delzer putting it down low for Heffron. Delzer's pass then for Monfi was intercepted. Wings looking to come back the other way. Here comes Anderson, who has the goal tonight. But a nice, solid job taking him off by Golden. You know, Delzer's got to be frustrated. He had a fantastic night the last time they played with a hat trick. And, uh, boy, he's just almost been snake bit tonight. Yeah, he's had two that could have easily been goals. Now they jab at it as Howe covering it up, and things get real physical in front. Weiss, John, and Golden, the primary participants there. And that's the ref got to blow that whistle quicker there. He had that save and sat there, and they just let him chop away at him. And that's what happens when, they, when you don't blow the whistle down. You see a good opportunity and a shot coming in. Looks like they're going to take both guys off here. Yep. And I think that's a good idea. Just let them both go off. But you can see the puck gets stopped right in there, and he's got it. The backside ref had lost sight of it. I can see both players a little bit frustrated. I can understand why. For Grace, it's Golden, and for Armstrong Cooper, Weiss John. Probably be roughings here. Yeah, both roughing minors at 513. So we stay five skaters aside. Eagles looking to generate a chance here off the wall, but Burns comes in to get it out. And then it's off I'd skate. And nearly a chance for Adam Johnson to bring that puck in, but couldn't maintain possession. And it's over skated there, but taken right back. Burns did a good recovery there to jab that puck free. Jangela carrying it in here for Armstrong Cooper and runs into some traffic. And the Eagles able to get it out. 
But then an interception, the pass doesn't connect for Jensen though as he's pursued by Sam Thielen. Jensen trying to hold Thielen off and no arm going up there. Back out to the point, Eagles keep it in. Oh, and it hits Reeve up in the shoulder. He had to fight that one off. It's, it's going to take quite a penalty to get one called. This game's too tight right now. And, uh, if you're a smart ref, you let the kids decide it. Fight for it along the wall here. And they kept the puck free, and out it comes. Picked up there by Carter Lucas. Banking it ahead, and now it eventually reaches Schreiner, and his shot, and how will make the stop. Champlin Park up by two on Osseo tonight, so they would potentially move into you know a virtual tie for first if yep. Armstrong Cooper wins this one and the Rebels win the other one. It'd still be one one point behind uh, as uh, Eagles have played one more game, but now that shot didn't make it to the net. Long pass ahead. Heffron swung at it but couldn't get it, so it's going to be an icing call against Tatino Grace. Well, this gets down now to about seven minute mark. Uh, what you're going to want to do is the wings. You're going to want to take it in deep. Don't take the bad angle shot. Get it down deep behind. Get your people in position to cover things. You know, then, then go for the shot. The Eagles, you need to start getting it down and get it. Once you get across the red line, get it across and get in. And then four check with two people right now and get on the puck inside the zone. Eagles trying to get it out pass was tipped though and wings have done a nice job of just that tonight bothering the breakout especially in the second and third period. You don't think being six foot or more makes a difference here Jay as you get those sticks in the passing lane it has bothered the Eagles tonight in a big way. Grace with the rush and that pass was deflected or otherwise it was going to be a pretty good chance for Bonfi in front. And then Jensen just lifts it no, out no, and no. got a fortunate bounce there as it stayed along the dasher and yeah. no icing. That was fortunate. Rush back the other way and that one is going to be a penalty and I think rightly so. Yep. The puck was not there anymore and he threw the body in. It's going to be an interference call against Armstrong Cooper. As you see the puck, Palmer flips it ahead. Right there was okay, but this next one is not, as he took him with the uh, hip check. And so they're going to get Evan Axel for the penalty. If this was about three or four years ago, I might have said, yeah, I'm not quite used to it now, but by now you know that that's a penalty. I'd maintain that it should have been even then. <laughs> the puck was that far enough gone. Yeah. yeah. So a power play here for Tatino Grace as they try and tie this one up. Back and forth here. Heffron will shoot it. It is blocked. And a nice job there by Joe Campion. Not only a clean block, but he gets the puck all the way down the ice calmly there. Held good positioning. Good block. Let it drop, and then he got it out of there. Efron coming up the middle, had a chop loose briefly, and then he throws it around. Grace for it there. Bonfi will come up with it for Grace, playing it back down deep, looking for Meehan. Meehan's pass out there to Heffron. Heffron will take it again up on the circle, looking down low with it. Bonfi challenging. Now back to Heffron. He shoots, and yeah. he scores. Yeah, yeah. Oh, boy, that was pretty. That was pretty. Nice setup, a good, just basically a two on one. Jay out of the corner there, and Heffron just banked it up high. He'll go down low and bring the defense over, and he comes up and just gets it up into the up top side corner there. Just a nice shot. Not much would be done there by Reeve just to beat him and beat him on a high shot. He was already down low. Yeah, 
Wings questioning. They're kind of a little hesitant to say, was that puck really in the net? I think there. Obviously, it was, you know, it was a quick in and out if it was in. Well, we'll get a good look at it here. Oh, yeah. yeah. That was in. No question about it. Bonfi and Palmer get the assists. So we're even up at a goal apiece. And you we talked about it earlier, you know, eventually penalties might catch up to you. We saw Grace came very close yep. to scoring yep. when they got their first power play. But well, that's hockey. I mean, that's uh, any night you could say that when you're in a relatively evenly matched game that that who stays out of the box is going to matter. And now we're going to have another penalty call coming up here. Yeah, it looked like Stika is going to go for a trip, I think. Yeah, I think the indication was slash, but slash? yeah, either one. Okay. Right? Yep, slash. So Stika will pick up the penalty coming up right here as he chops the stick out of Ide's hand. And so now the Wings will get their opportunity to see if they can score on a power play. Boy, that couple of kind of bad penalties here, Jay, at critical times. I mean, you get the game tied up after working some doggone hard, and all of a sudden, wham. Well, that's where keeping your composure down the stretch here is going to yeah. be big, because there's no doubt that it's gotten a little more heated and a little more physical as we've gone down the stretch here. That pass across does not connect. The wing is only looking to get things set up. Jensen. Swing it back. Jangua. Now they're going to crisscross here. Well, it's one common theme these teams both have. They both got good pen, uh, power plays and penalty kills. Wings really working the puck down low and getting everything compressed there. Oh, and that shot is blocked. But Eagles not going to take any chances just throwing all the way down the ice here by Meehan. Jensen will pick it up here for Armstrong Cooper as we go under seven minutes to play in the game. Now tied up at a goal apiece. Wings looking to get it set up. Shot on a goal. Oh Heck boy. with setting it up. Jack Campion just pulls the trigger. And Armstrong Cooper will retake the lead. Well, Campion, ninth goal of the year. That's his sixth power play goal of the year. He's been actually their big guy in the power play. You see it coming around here real nice. Here he is, gets a stick on the inside here. I think that deflected off the stick of the D on that as it went in. Kind of changed direction. We'll get a good look here. Comes around, you see him snap it off. Yeah, fluttered. Kind of changed direction. And how kind of lost lost the direction and it couldn't get a handle on it you know and it feels like the Eagles defense thought the same thing I did that he was just going to look to get things set up and kind of settle it yeah. down and all of a sudden he just said you know what there's a little space I'm going to go at the net well and it makes all the difference in the world when that sticks on the inside rather than the outside it makes it a much much better angle Ide and Jensen will get the assist on Jack Campion's goal as Dan said is ninth of the season and uh to say the Campion family has contributed a lot to this roster this year, isn't it? It feels like I'm saying Campion every other minute here. <laughs> <laughs> now a chance for the Eagles. Bonfi. Now uh, we've got a whistle back behind the play. And yeah, and he's done. Oh, ow. Quickly calling for the trainers. We'll get another look. Check thrown there, and then here's the check that did the damage. Ooh. Big Kyle Heffron, and he is going to be penalized. He's bad. He threw an elbow. If he would have kept the elbow in against his body without extending it, that probably wouldn't have been a penalty, but he did extend. Be interesting to see if there's any possibility this is something beyond a minor there. Is uh, he got it? It might be. He got him in the head and drove him into the glass. Yep. I'm sure that's part of the discussion going on over there. 
I mean, a five minute major right now would be huge. Ooh, it is going to be a major, it looks like. They put a five up. Yep. And it might be a disqualification, too. I don't think it's from the high, but it's, it's avoiding. Oh, he got up. Thank you. It's Haugen that Haugen? was injured, I believe, for the wings there. And it looks yeah. like he's going to the bench rather than right to the Locker dressing room. room or anything either. Yeah. So that's a good sign, you yeah. would think. Trader was out there. It is a major head contact. Okay, not a disqualification, no, not a 10 minute misconduct, okay. All right, this is huge. One of the major players for the Grace going off the ice. Armstrong Cooper can score as many times as they want. Drop back for Jangala here as they come up ice on this major penalty power play opportunity. And the Eagles able to get it on out of there. Even though they're, you know, got the major, they gotta still be thinking about yep. looking to attack if possible. Meehan spinning away. And here's a shot and a goal, they tie it up. Stika blasting it home for a shorthanded goal. You know, you can almost feel that one coming in a way. Just it was kind of lax on the wings. They, they kind of said, I've got a five-minute major, we can play along. Uh, you felt Grace really sticking that we were going to make something happen here. Just the way they were kind of the attack mode that they were, the aggressive mode they were using here. Boy, Stika just came right through and just ripped it. When how many times tonight have we seen, you know, where it looked like there was going to be an opportunity like that, but yep. the guy just, you know, either got tipped or he didn't get good wood on it or whatever, but that time he just stepped into it and blasted it. And it was just so lax, the wings there for that, for about 35, 40 seconds in the whole deal. And, you know, and Grace was so aggressive on this. You could just see that he's almost felt it was going to happen. Meehan getting the lone assist, and a great assist it was as he carried that puck in deep and then teed it up for Stika's blast. Now the wings looking to answer here. Yeah, you kind of had that feeling that it was like, you know, they, they had scored the go-ahead goal, and then they got a major penalty that they almost maybe were starting to feel like they had this one won a little bit of yep. it, the way that shift started. Angela coming up with it, spins away, gets it over to Jensen. Jensen bothered there by Adam Johnson, but now keeps possession. Remember, there's still over three minutes to go in the power play for the wing, so even though they've given up the tying goal, they still have a golden opportunity to try and retake the lead here, but not like that as it's jabbed all the way down the rink. All of a sudden, the Eagles have got some jump in their in their skates. They're being extremely aggressive. They're being fast. Puck carried in deep there ah. and trying to do the same thing as a moment ago. Uh-oh, and then the D falls. Leading a chance the other way. Palmer had it jabbed away by Joe Campion. And then it comes back to Palmer, putting it out front, a chance. Oh, and a net miss. Penalty, though, coming up to the wings. And so we'll be evened up as we get a tripping penalty to Armstrong Cooper as they try to fight off that chance. Look at the aggressiveness here. Just going into total attack mode. They were going right to the net. They were messing around and then they get another opportunity here. Penalty call will go against Matt Campion. Boy, all of a sudden the wings just forgot to skate. 
we got it. And, and, and the Eagles just all of a sudden said, oh, well, we better skate now. Wings have five skaters out there still. I don't think that's right. So it will be four aside for about two minutes more, barring any further scoring. And then the Wings would still have the remainder of that major power play. But about a minute and 53, they're going to have a power play. There's a shot that Howe makes the stop on. So drama down the stretch for sure in this one. 3.40 to go in the hockey game. We're now even up at two apiece. For a long time, we couldn't get a goal, but now they're coming uh, maybe a little more fast and furious. Here's Delzer going to the net backhander in another. And Reeve making two quality stops there as Delzer turned the corner and got away a couple of good chances. Well, the first mistake was made when, when the Wings came in and took a wide angle shot again, which is not, how's not going to let that in? And then they're just getting beat flat out by the Eagles on these rushes on the net, and they're not blocking the guy off. They're letting him get in tight on, on Reeve on that. I mean, the Eagles. The Eagles are feeling it right now. They're really feeling it, and they're going after it hard. Kind of interesting to see that there. That Delzer wasn't disappointed he didn't score. He was he was happy the way he was able to burn the D there. Yep. And he was kind of telling them, "I'm coming again." Too. Yep. I'm going to be here all night, folks. Ooh, a solid yep. check there as they step up. And that pass though knocked down. Now Bonfi gets it back here for the Eagles. Nowhere to go with it though, really. Nobody out there to help him. Now the Eagles trying to get a rush going here, but that puck intercepted by Jangela. He carries it into the gray zone. Jangela trying to drag it around the D, but it didn't quite work out. Banked off the glass and out. No icing as it hopped right through the defenseman Jensen. And his pass too far and intercepted. And then the Eagles don't connect, so they will be called for icing with 2.25 to go here in the game. 32 seconds to go in the Wings penalty and still 109 to go in the major to Heffron. Now all of a sudden you notice that the wings passes aren't quite as crisp and not right there all of a sudden the legs are moving as fast. Momentum can be a, a tough thing to get back once you lose it. Well and it's amazing too the wings had it for so long I mean most of this game. Back out to the point. That one blocked down. Oh, and trying to spring Thielen up the middle, but it was into his skate. Steinke back with it for the wings to Jangela. Trying to get it to Ide. That one was interrupted, though. Two minutes to play. Thielen carrying it in. Yeah. A great move to the front. Thielen, though, denied by Reeve. Johnson in after it. Penalty to the wings is over, so they're on the power play. And then they lose it. Thielen up with it again. Ooh, and he goes down in a heap as Ide ran into him. Jack Campion controlling here for Armstrong Cooper. Drops the pass across a little behind Jangela. Try to get it up front. Here's a follow-up try. Owen House closes the pads in a hurry to keep that one out. See, it played down deep here, and then they go from there, throwing it out front and off the goaltender. And then Jensen, boy, really, Howe is probably saying, why are you running into me <laughs> to his defenseman? Yeah. That, that's what made that a tough chance. I still didn't like that move shot to the front there from a bad angle, though. They got to stop it. They need to get it out front and get two guys in front to create a good chance there, though. Penalty time is over. Heffron is back out there as we approach a minute to go in this one. Eagles get the puck in deep here. Stika coming after it. He scored that tying goal. Heffron puts it out front. And we've gone under a minute to play now. Tie hockey game. Oh, and that pass, he tried to spring Ide, but bouncing puck that he could not control. It will, though, be a faceoff in the Totino Gray zone. See if either team 
elects to possibly use their timeout here in this late game situation. Right now, I, I really think the Wings should call a timeout. I really do. Right now, Grace has got their act together. They know what they got to do. Right now, the Wings need to calm down and get their act back together again and do what they do because they've lost it over the past. Ever since that major penalty started, they have just been discombobulated. And I think, like when they wait till the end, the ice, the kicker, they uh, waited until they were going to drop the puck and call this time out here. Yep, get your best five guys out on the ice right now and get your act back together again. I just, I love the way Grace J grabbed that five minute major and decided, you know what, we need to get serious about this or we're going to lose this hockey game because frankly, they've been seriously outplayed since about halfway through the first period all the way through the second. Did a nice job coming back here. Interesting I, when you get this timeout late game when it's a tie game. It's such a different feel than if one team was still in the one goal margin where you're, you know, mm -hmm. you're all offense, you're all offense. Here you want to set something up, but you also have to still stay conscious of not giving something up the other direction. Yep. Yeah, I mean, the fact, fact is, is now you, you look at the two contrasting teaching styles here too. Grace right now knows they got the momentum, so I'm setting something up. I want to go attack. This is a calming situation here with Coach Austin. Settle down, go back to do what you were doing. You know, you know what you were doing. And get after it. The one thing I would tell them is stop taking wide angle shots here. Get something set up in front and go after it. Get two guys on how. You know, we've been talking a lot about you know, Owen Reeve in, in the net for the Wings. He's played really good, but you know, House played pretty good too. By gosh, he's done a good job for, for the Grace Eagles. So, an all important faceoff coming up. Heffron and Anderson will draw. Anderson trying to win it forward. It's loose in front for a moment. Now, a shot attempt, and Howe came way out to meet that one. And try to go back to Jensen. It squirts away, though. And they'll dump it back in. But now the Eagles will gain possession here with a little over a half minute to go in regulation. We are tied up at two goals apiece. Here come the Eagles. Palmer trying to get to it. And just jabbed away from him by Joe Campion. Now Palmer. This pass hit a skate, and then he tucks it there into it the open net. Tatino Grace. Striking with 18 seconds left as Palmer puts it away. I guess maybe we should shouldn't play him a defense too much longer. By gosh, good move by the coaching staff. That just was smart. Just get him out of, get him back up front. You take your leading score, put him back in a position where he can decide the game. Gets it back up front. He puts it right back out there and bounces it off the pad. For the goalie. Boy, Reed was just a little slow. He couldn't, he wasn't sure if the puck was, you know, when it's right behind you like that. He's trying to go side to side. He's not yep. sure where it's coming out. He just didn't get back in time. And Palmer tucked it in. Yep. And, and frankly, Jay, it's just a heartbreaker here with as tough as, as hard fought a game as both these teams have played. You don't really want to see one have to lose them, but. Boy, what a what a hard fought game and Grace really fought back hard and got themselves a hard fought win here. It's been a heck of a season for Tatino Grace and uh, this one they'll I think this is one they'll remember certainly uh, <laughs> as the season goes on. Uh, Palmer tucking that one away and Reeve, his guy's telling him, gosh, you kept this in and you oh. made some great saves. It was an unfortunate last one, I guess, but uh, I thought really pretty good goaltending at both ends of the game. We went 0-0 for a yep. long time in part because of both of those guys. Yeah, I would agree. The goaltending in this game was very, very good. And, and frankly, I think both their teams played their hearts out. They really played their guts out. It was a gritty, gritty hockey game. And uh, I like seeing games like this because you find the measure of the kid's heart and character. And uh, both teams really, really stuck it out there tonight. It was a really fun game to do. Very entertaining contest here, and we certainly hope you've enjoyed it as uh, goals coming fast and furious toward the end as Armstrong Cooper went back in front and Tatino tied it up. And then the Eagles get one with 18 seconds to go as Ben Palmer tucks it in. So 
Final in this one is Totino Grace 3 and Armstrong Cooper 2 for Dan Thicken and all of our crew. I'm Jay Wilcox. Good night from Brooklyn Park.